Today our school had the pleasure of visiting GKN Aerospace in Cromwell, Connecticut, where they focus on precision to manufacture aeronautical parts for top-of-the-line aircrafts. We were given a tour of the building and several workshops where we saw many cool machines. We were allowed to play with some of the material and interviewed the supervisor of commercial operations who explained what's important in manufacturing. Board, the PPD board, it's supposed to be 10 feet, 10 seconds. You're supposed to know what's going on in the shop in 10 seconds. You can see what's happening, what programs are behind, and what programs are on schedule, and what's happening. So it starts out with safety. Safety's first, always. So if anything is malfunctioning, not working properly, someone could potentially get hurt, the safety issue, you're gonna take a lock, a key, and you're gonna lock out safety. So after safety, we go to quality. So in terms of the quality of the parts, we like to talk about quality and delivery per section of, um, for, for each program. So every morning that I come in and start work again, yeah. I have to make sure that my machine is re-registered. You know, it's kind of like the lasers are calibrated, I'm like calibrating the machine. And the parts are all perfect. So I have a little bit of delivery to Places supplies. In my case, I have about 130,000 that I can play with. If it's not a lot, no, it really isn't. Uh, in this building, you would do in process inspections all the way to final. All of us depend on each other to do the right thing, and if you don't know what you're doing, very easily just stop what you're doing, come back to supervisor. I don't understand that. Could you explain to me again? It's so, much, know. so much better to stop than to send out a bad part. During the break, we saw one of the most advanced pieces of machinery we've ever seen. Joking aside, we had one of the most important interviews we could have as aspiring engineers. Would you say there's a lot of room for growth for new people? As long as you have the drive, motivation, and the work ethic, sky's the limit. Put your head down, do what you're supposed to do, learn new things, and that's what I did. And no college degree, I worked my way up.